Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Hope you all doing well and having a really great day. I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, but I just wanted to get a general snapshot of how mining profitability is now with GPUs and also ASICs. I, yeah, I haven't really done one of these for the past couple of months. I normally do it every month, but I think it just went on the wayside. I forgot about it. And, uh, but normally I've been pretty good at generally taking a snapshot every month. And so I do have a playlist like ever since I think 2019 is when I started to, you know, take the general profitability for those that care about the profit. Okay. Not the total income that your GPU or ASIC mining a miner is generating but the the profit after electricity your electrical cost is going to matter a lot here all right so depending if you're mining for long term then you're probably not going to watch this video but if you generally have lower electrical costs maybe you are going to watch this video but anyways let's begin okay so i think the reasons why i i really didn't you know make update videos about you know profitability over the past couple of months because there was really no no profit at all Right. I think generally a lot of people, depending on your electrical cost again, a lot of people were breaking even. So it really didn't make sense. Hence why the last video four months ago called breaking even. Uh, so, but I think that's when Bitcoin was generally around what hovering around 26, 25,000 uh, when I recorded that video. And since then, you know, uh, I guess the past what month here, uh, maybe half month we've had uh, rise up in the Bitcoin price and we've had a lot of uh, altcoins and such other proof of work mineable coins that have generally gone up uh, with Bitcoin over the past you know 60 days or so actually I can bring that up here and I'll have this watch list down below for coin market cap this is something where easy to see generally you know how other altcoins or proof of work altcoins that I have here have gone up thus you know seeing if that will equate to uh, profitability depending on you know, how many people have turned on, which I'm going to talk about here in a second, because yeah, profitability hasn't really propped up too much, but we see generally over the past 60 days, we've had a lot of different GP mineable coins that have also gone up in, in, in price, right? Have, have appreciated. And of course the big dog, Bitcoin, we got Caspa more so a lot more prominent these days and uh, maybe a few other ASIC mineable coins, but I'm just going to talk about all that uh, throughout this video for anyone that cares about profitability okay so let's begin first with gpus and then i'm gonna go into asics uh later on so graphics cards i know this is one where it's been pretty dire since the ethereum merge there's no denying you know since the merge it was, hasn't been very profitable at all and alongside with the i guess bitcoin and all the altcoins having downward pressure and you know it's just causing this unprofitability for majority of crypto miners out there again depending on your electrical cost so i'm just going to take an average here so right now i'm on hashrate.no i think this is one of the most popular you know figuring out how profitable your gpus are generally for those that care about it usually go to this website i think this is more prominent now better than whattomine.com i i do like what to mine from time to time uh but uh, hashrate.no has really uh, taken up the uh, leader here and general profitability. Okay. I know that the overclocks on some of these sites like hashrate.no are not up to par or, you know, correct, but generally they do update it as people tell them, you know, update these numbers on, you know, uh, 6700 XT, 4070 and whatnot. They're generally pretty good at, about that. But anyways, average general electric cost for, I would say North America, or maybe just in the United States in general, I'm going to say is around 14, 15 cents. So right now, okay, if you had any 40 series GPU for mining, you would probably around, it would be breaking even roughly right now at 14 cents per kilowatt hour. I personally don't have any 40 series GPUs. I have never tested these cards for GPU mining. And so I, yeah, I just want to skip this version because I just don't believe the 40 series cards are good for mining and the best bang for buck are going to be I guess, AMD cards and of course the 30 series GPUs, which have come down massively in price. I just don't agree, to give my opinion here regarding the 40 series GPUs. I just don't agree buying those GPUs right now because 
I just, yeah, the prices of them are just way too high still, in my opinion, and I would rather go for uh, the 30 series GPUs, even though, right, I know the 40 series are a little bit more efficient, but they are also hindered in their bus width uh, speed. So that hinders them on a few, I guess, memory algorithms, which there are a few out there, but uh, of course you can say the argument now there's ASICs, uh, which there are, jazz miners and such. Uh, but they are also strong on maybe a few core algorithm uh, coins as well. So it depends how you look at it. Anyways, going down the list here, okay, at 14 cent per kilowatt hour, you can see here really general, it's generally breaking even. Like it looks like 1660s are even breaking even at 14 cents for some reason. I'm going to have to test that. Uh, 6500 XT, 6600 XTs, notorious GPUs, pretty much losing a cent or breaking even mining Dynex at this point at 14 cents. All right, so general 14 cents it looks like that's like the break even for all the general gpus right now now averaging okay so if we're going down the list here going down in number per kilowatt hour for their cost okay this is the biggest factor here uh when it comes to determining your profit okay i just wanted to reiterate that because i myself have been forgetting about that over the past couple months because i've just been mining and holding right that is the ultimate crypto mining strategy and uh, I, I'm not caring about profit at all because my belief here just giving you guys my opinion here not not financial advice that even if i'm breaking even or losing you know versus my electric i believe the coins will price appreciate more so in exponential and multiplier than the electric cost down the road okay so that's that's my that's my strategy there okay not financial advice it is a hard thing to swallow it is a big risk it definitely is a big risk but in terms of also running as a business, I do have other income sources to offset that, you know, a little bit more of electrical cost versus what my income is generating uh, from the GPUs, if that makes sense. I'm doing that, you know, just totally depends how you run your business. Anyways, going along. Okay, let's do, uh, let's say, you know, 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, so as we go down the list here, okay, uh, depending on the efficiency of your GPUs, uh, it looks like hash rate, I don't know, changes as you go down in price because, again, the efficiency it depends what the, the overclocks and the hash rate and the wattages are being uh, reported uh, to on their site here. So that's why it's changing all the time, depends on the efficiency. So you can see now, right, like a 4090 at 12 cents, of course, the revenue here, uh, total income, okay, let's say for Nexa would be $1.20, all right? So but after your 13 cent per kilowatt hour or you know, 12 cent per kilowatt hour here, I don't know why it changed like that. It would be 20 cents after paying your electric. Okay. So as we go down, just a quick thing here, let's go back to GPUs. Let's go back. Let's go do 10 cents now. Okay. It's a little bit more profitable, right? But not really that much. Okay. You're, you're pretty much breaking even it. If it was me personally, as we're talking about this, I would not be selling at 10. Like if I had 10 cent kilowatt hour, the mine coin, let's say we're mining Nexa or yielding right now, I would not sell it for 19 cents a day. That's just, that that is not a good time right now. In my opinion, due to how I think that the markets will generally go up later. If you believe in the long term, right? Crypto mining is not a get rich quick scheme. That is the ultimate, uh, you know, understanding here uh, regarding crypto mining and understanding that, you know, for profit. So this is where I would say people that are doing it for profit is if you have lower electrical costs. So let's say you had, I don't know, four cents and there are plenty of mining farms out there that do. So we go down the list here, 4090 is then making a dollar. Okay. Um, RTX 3080 is making 32 cents a day at four cents kilowatt hour. Uh, you know, maybe a 3070, maybe a mining farm has a whole, whole bunch of 3070s. They're making 23 cents. A day okay maybe if maybe if they're mining conflux or radiant generally here though as i'm looking at it it's it's we're talking about pennies differences here even from four cents to 12 cents to 14 cents per kilowatt hour it's we're talking in pennies here we're not even in the dollar value of uh, profit okay unless you had 4090 at four cent kilowatt hour so it's generally bad okay so i'm <laughs> giving you my perspective here it's it's bad okay Tr gpu mining profitability profit wise is is not good all right and so going back to my opinion regarding i guess the ultimate strategy here is to uh, mine yield and just hold the coins uh, up until newer price appreciation up until you know bitcoin starts going to higher highs higher than what it was before and we'll see 
generally when Bitcoin goes up, a lot of the other coins will also go up as well. Okay, so that's the, the general consensus there. That's obviously not financial advice, but that's the risk some people are willing to take, such as myself. All right, that's my ultimate belief because these things have played out in previous history, but we do have a lot of new GPU mineable coins or even uh, ASIC mineable coins as well that have come out of the woodwork. So this is a good segue into ASIC mining profitability now. All right, so this segment, I know uh, my channel consists of GPU miners and ASIC miners. So, uh, you know, I think it's time I attend to both here uh, in the same video. Uh, some people may not agree uh, with ASIC mining due to the fundamental fact of decentralization or centralization. I'm not going to get into that. So let's go in now. ASIC mining. This is profitability wise. I'm going to say throughout even the past year after the Ethereum merge, which was more so affecting GPUs, has been really good over the past year. OK, even if you had like an L7, OK, let's let's just go. Let's just go 14 cents per kilo out here. OK, and I have been watching these prices profit wise uh, for ASIC mining over the past. I would say, yeah, past year here. And I can safe to say, like, let's say you had an ant miner L7, right? These things are still making three dollars a day. I know last year was maybe more so, you know, 12 or eight dollars a day. And of course, the profits have been coming down, but that's obviously due to the Bitcoin price also going down, right? The markets for Litecoin and such uh, have been going down as well. But um, now if we go, let me just look at the Litecoin chart real quick here, just to give you guys what, what I mean by that. Um, also, the network hash rate for Litecoin has generally been going up as well. But you can see we have had a downturn uh, in the Litecoin price over the past what couple months here. So that's why profitability and also, I guess, Dogecoin as well has also Dogecoin is the biggest profit leader for uh, Litecoin mining. So there's been a pretty big downtrend. OK, this makes more sense because Dogecoin mining, which is it's merge mining against with Litecoin is going to be the most profit here. I think it's 70 or 80 or 85 percent uh, of the profit of the income for uh, with the L7s or any script miner that that's out there. So that's just one case here. But I'm going to say majority over the past year if you had k7s if you had you know the d9s uh, those more prominent big boy asic miners they are generally they generally have been pretty good okay for asic mining so this is all in the in the dollar value all right even though i know those costs you know the asic miners do cost a couple thousand dollars but they are in the dollar value here at you know 14 cents per kilowatt hour uh, for anyone that has these now obviously as we go down the list here Okay, I'm just going to do a comparison for the L7 as it makes $6 a day. So from, you know, 14 cents to 10 cents, an L7 generates about $6 after uh, the electrical cost. Okay, so the income for that, though, um, the total income for that will be about $13, $14 a day if you had free electric. All right, just to give that comparison there. So ASIC mining has generally been good and like, you're still making dollars per day dependent of your electrical cost, which, you know, a lot of big mining farms, lower electrical costs, like let's say 0 0.4 again, you know, they're just, they're just printing money at this point, right? L7s will then make 10, $11 a day. All the Bitcoin ASIC miners, um, let's see, M50s, these are all the old, older models, make $5 a day. S19J Pro 104 tera hash at 4 cents. It's making $5 a day. Okay, you guys can see uh, right now, obviously, I, I know because we have had this big rise up recently with Bitcoin, that profitability has gone up, I think about a good, what, one third of that. So it's been it's it has been better, right? I think S19J Pro at four cents was maybe three dollars a day at one point at four cent kilowatt hour. OK, so I know majority of you watching here are not industrial, you know, four cent per kilowatt hour miners. Right. That's let's just be real here. We're more so. <laughs> that ASIC mining profitability for those that are ASIC mining at home, you know, it's, it's, it gets worse as of course, as your electrical cost is higher. Now the elephant in the room, I know a lot of people want to talk about the CASPA ASIC miners. Okay. This has been such a hot topic. It, I get it left and right. People want me to talk about it every single day. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to have to say I'm sick of it. You know, I, I love that Casper Mining has been, you know, and this new coin that came out like last year and it's been pumping up and a lot of people are getting into it. It used to be GPU mineable, more so GPU mineable. And then 
Um, if you got in early, you mined thousands or millions of it. And then, you know, now the transition from FPGAs was prevalent for a couple, like literally two or three months. And then ASIC miners started coming out, right? I I've been documenting this whole, this whole journey regarding the Casper ASIC miners on my channel since the very, I would say ever since, uh, yeah, the GPU mineable and then the FPGAs started rolling out, right? Osprey E300s. More so, I think this January, February, and then the ASIC miners, like the Super Scalar K10. I think that was an FPGA though. Uh, Super Scalar K10, I did a video about that. And then we also got the uh, ICE server, KS2, right? This is the, I got the alpha engineered sample from ICE server, and I was one of the first people out of three in the world uh, to get one of these. And it was mining, you know, like 35, 40,000. Uh, 32 to 35,000 caspa a day when i first got it i think it was back in april right and the profitability of that at that time was like 1200 dollars a day or something 800 dollars at one point and then it went back up to 1200 and then uh the swings with the caspa price which we all know caspa has been has been going up recently it's from five cents to six six cents here 6.64 over the past uh two couple of days here as of recording so that's pretty hype. That's pretty hype for Caspa. And uh, a lot of people have been rooting for that and it happened, right? And so now the profitability for those ASIC miners such as Caspa has been going up now, okay? Um, I remember the KS3 used to be $100 a day, but now that we're not at 5 cent kilowatt, uh, 5 cents per Caspa, it's now at a dollar, $124 a day because uh, the price of Caspa has gone up. But Thing to consider now the network hash rate for caspa is going to go up okay um i know there's a lot of a lot of talk regarding the wind miner k9s okay um i heard through the grapevine that there's about 800 i did see something on their website showing 800 units you know bitmain ice server still ship these out probably still selling them a lot of people are interested in these a lot of people have been buying them it's it's being pushed out they're not they're not like that fifty thousand dollar price tag anymore they're around 17 you know nineteen thousand. Uh, price tag and, and such so they are coming down relative to what you know their profitability is and so as time goes on we have been seeing profitability for the ice servers going down obviously okay um, in terms of ASIC mining uh, they're at the top of the charts they've been at the top of the charts for the past couple months ever since these came out right been more prevalent I would say more so since uh, June actually when they started coming out like KS1s there's a first batch there. You guys know Greater Grid Mining got his, and he's definitely got his money back, and then some. Probably even more, more so now because the price of Caspas went up. Greater Good Mining, if you're watching this, man, we need an update, and we want to know how big your bag is because if you guys know, I have been keeping up uh, with one that I bought, second batch, sixty-five hundred dollars. Okay, I actually have an update on Twitter, which I've been uh, keeping track of. So this was one I did an update on, uh, let's see, October 30th. Okay, October 30th, I mined about 51,427 Caspa. That was worth $2,600 at the time. Okay, and then literally one week later, I have another update I just posted on Twitter. That same bag that I have now, plus a little bit more Caspa, is worth $3,500. So it's gone up about $900 over the past seven days. That's due to the Caspa price. So that's because I've been mining and holding all this Caspa. I believe in the price appreciation of Caspa, right? So that's if I sold it now, it'd be worth $3,500. Just to give you guys an update here of this KS1 here, which is I'm keeping track of all the way up until I guess breaking even on $6,500, including electric, which, you know, this thing only takes about... 800 watts right now uh, it used to be 600 but because i overclocked it it's supposed to be 1.25 and it changes all the time 1.17 1.15 to 1.25 terahash which you know generally i've been getting about almost 20 dollars a day on this thing on two miners okay so about 302 caspa a day in terms of the yield just to let you guys know all right so just a little update on that and so yeah i mean this is what has been more so prominent over the past what couple months here is the caspa miners okay so i actually have one of these ks3s coming in soon i also have one of the uh micro bt what's miner m60s's coming as well looks like um my nasic doesn't have that here but uh they're pretty efficient so we're gonna see how well those uh bitmain uh, what's miners do okay guys so that is the i guess 
basic mining profitability really i generally it's been it it has been good right it has been good over the past year um still has it has been going lower for some models but you know realistically they're still making dollars uh, even if you had 14 cent per kilowatt hour um, and i'm talking about the newer models okay um jazz miners and such uh, they're obviously going lower and lower i've seen that recash rate for ethereum classic also go higher i should have talked about that a little bit more i don't think there's I don't think there's many people here really into, I don't, maybe there are a lot. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't really gauge the community here uh, regarding jazz miners and Ethereum classic, or if you're mining Octa space or dual mining, triple coin mining Zill and Pac-Man or whatever that other coin is. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on in the ASIC mining space and it's really, it's really hard to keep up, but, um, I'm trying to keep up with really the efficiencies of all these ASIC miners. And I think a lot of you guys have already been keeping track of them as well. Um, for those that are really interested in, you know, ASIC mining, um, whether it's if it's Kadena, God forbid, Nervos, Handshake, Echo Hash, Dash, Sia Coin, maybe, you know, I've been, you know, have all the, I have this list down, linked down below in case anyone wants to see it, just the efficiency wise um, of these ASIC miners. But as you go higher in efficiency, they do cost a lot more right? Especially the Bitmains one, you know, this is more notorious. A conversation I think a lot of people are having regarding buying the S21s versus, you know, maybe buying an S19K Pro, which stay tuned. I'm going to get one coming here, another one soon that I'm going to be trying the uh, firmware updates on these things just to see if we can get better efficiency, which right now does 23. Apparently we can go down to 19, maybe 17. Who knows? Uh, the S19K Pro could be the better buy uh, of these things. Okay, uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, I'm ASIC mining. Um, I'm doing everything from Bitcoin mining, Caspa, Ethereum Classic, all that stuff, uh, all the way down to GPU mining as well. Okay, so, uh, but for GPU mining, I'll let you guys know, I'm not doing it for profit. Uh, the daily profits, I'm doing it for the long-term hold, long-term price appreciation, uh, because I believe uh, that's gonna yield better results than selling for daily profit. I think a lot of you guys really already understand that. Now, finally, if you guys are looking to buy uh, ASIC miners, please check out my links down below for Crypto Miner Bros. I've been partnered with them for four years. They are a trusted service. All prices you see on their website include shipping and duties and taxes. It's uh, something that, you know, a lot of other websites, you know, they will tack on the pricing after you add it to cart. Also use code REDPANDA for $50 off. If you decide to buy maybe one of these KS Pros, which is $6.79, $50 off, that would be $6.29. Uh, so why not, right? Why not? But uh, do I think the KS Pro 200 giga hash is a good buy right now? Mm, actually, here, let's do that real quick. Let me see here. A dollar per giga hash, okay? It's not really a great buy. If you took $50 off though, it could be. Actually, no. Actually, no. The KS Zero Pro is $4.29 on Ice River, but they're gonna tack on shipping tax on duty and taxes, whatever that is, maybe another $50, $100. It might be the same price as the crypto miner bros. But anyways, guys, I think that's it. Uh, also check out Coastal Crypto Mining. Check out mineshop.eu if you're in the EU, but they do ship worldwide as well. I uh, check out endlessmining.com. They're in the United States, uh, as long as Coastal Crypto Mining as well, based in the USA. So check it out, guys. Thank you so much. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Uh, what are you guys mining right now? You're continuing to mine and are you doing this for profit? Like for daily profitability, let me know. Let me know down below. I, I'm, I'm assuming everyone that's watching this right now is not doing it for the daily profit. You're doing it for the long-term, uh, you know, gains, <laughs> essentially. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.